This is the zoo map. We're in the upper portion, lot A. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. And today I'm visiting the Smithsonian National Zoo. Now this is a free zoo, but if you are parking your vehicle, please keep in mind your car has to pay $30 to sit in the parking lot. Now, sounds like a lot of money, but it helps support the zoo. So that is part of your entry, basically. Now if you take a bus or you walk to the zoo, you don't have to pay a thing. Now you see I don't have a hat yet. Gift shop doesn't open till nine o'clock. So I will come back at nine o'clock and I should be able to get a hat. But anyway, the free zoo, not a huge, huge property. They do have a fantastic selection of animals here. Right when you enter, you're gonna wanna look for a CR code for the panda bears, the Asian trail. You have to have a separate reservation in order to see the panda bears. They have a limited amount available that is to help keep it so it's not uh, overly congested. So I got that right when I entered the property right past the parking lot. Just look for a giant panda bear statue and you're going to scan a CR code that's going to give you a link to secure your reservation. My reservation is for 830. I am in the upper portion of the zoo. There is a lower portion. Upper portion is most likely where you want to be if you're going to be getting your reservation early. It is right near Panda Plaza where I'm at currently. So I'm going to check out some of the animals in the area and then 830 I'm going to go check out the panda bears. Right, even before we actually get inside, you got Maine Wolf Habitat. But this is the Maine Wolf Habitat and I don't believe the Wolfie is out just yet. So this is right along the path to the parking lot so I will check back a little bit later, got lesser kudu. It's a lesser kudu. She just got in the habitat. Got the little one. Oh, there we go. Got some yummies there for him. I think I know what he's happy for. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what he's excited for. He's <laughs> on her butt. <laughs> Definitely see the male. Alright, so it's supposed to be a busy and ground hornbill right here with the lesser kudu. But the zoo just opened at 8 a.m. Alright, so busy and ground hornbill doesn't look like he's out just yet. Alright, Smithsonian National Zoo, 125 years. Alright, over here at Panda Plaza, gonna go inside the panda shop and get a hat to start the day. So, Alright, so they do have a nice hat selection. They also have a shirt and hat combination. Now since I like the look of this hat even better than the other ones, I'm going to get this. All right, so I got my hat and my shirt, which I'm gonna go put in the car, because I am parked really, really close to where this is. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the rest of the zoo. All right, we got American Bison. Just checking out part of their habitat. Didn't know if any was out, but then I look over and I saw a head sticking out. Maybe a little bit shy. Signs here are the bison or buffalo. These are the two bison they have here. Galley and Lucy. All right, so from this other side trail, looking into the American bison habitat, they are still sort of in the back. Got the zoo and a pond. The wet and the wonderful. This is really nice. See lots of froggies living in here. 
This one's a zoo in a garden. Very nice looking flowers and plants. I got the zoo in the yard. There should be lots to see around this type of habitat. Lots of butterflies and bees. All right, we got Grevy Zebra. Zebra is having some breakfast. Very happy to see a zebra from the from the head back, rather than the opposite. It seems to happen a lot with zebras at zoos. So this right here is another one of the Asia Trail Panda Pass panda bears. You see, you scan the code. This doesn't open until 8.30. Alright, so the entrance to the Asian Trail is to the right if you're coming from that entrance. It's directly across from the visitor center. Yes, that's cool. Got a new arrival. This the Asian Trail mini map. So you what is available. Looks like they have some glass to replace. Now all the glass in all the different habitats is double paned, so if one breaks, there's still another full painted glass. This is cool. Got fishing cat. That's the fishing cat's habitat from the Asian trail side. I do not see the fishing cat, so perhaps I'll see him from the lower portion. Got sloth bear. And this is a really cool looking habitat. Now because of needing reservations for this area, if I don't see the animal the first time, I don't believe I'm going to be able to come back. So I will check this area right before I leave this section. Now we got Clouded Leopard. Alright, I see one. Very nice. Wash its paws. Taking a bath. This guy's got a really nice looking habitat. So, fishing cat. Sign here says not in the yard, so that explains why I didn't see the kitty cat from above. It's the fishing cat's other habitat. Don't see him in here yet either. Got Asian small claw otter. This is the otter's habitat. However, I do not see any otter. It's still early. Oh, more habitat, and I do see them in the water. I'll see them right around the corner. Alright, here we go. So they are somewhere over here in this water area, possibly to the left. See the otter over here on the side. There we go. Kind of hanging off on the side there, scratching a little bit. Hi, otter! Kind of looking like, what do you want? I'm scratching. Otters are out a little bit more playing with the sticks. Got red panda. This is from the high up vantage point. So I'm thinking it's going to be down below a little bit. Giant panda. If you look, on that you can tree. see the black and white Looks right like here. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here is the baby. Or right, you can see the baby panda bear. Up in a tree. He's pretty far off, so we'll get a look at him closer. There is the other one. Very nice. 
Not many zoos in the United States have giant pandas. All giant pandas on the planet are owned by China. And they have to have special permission to have them. San Diego Zoo no longer has giant pandas. All right, Asian elephant. But from the bridge, get an overhead view of the Asian elephant habitat. However, they are still in the back right now. Their gates are open, so they are able to come out. This elephant shift. And that's the different areas you'll be able to see the elephants. Got the elephant barn. Here's another vantage point of the elephants. I'm sorry it's behind the scenes. This is additional elephant habitat. Actually, this is the that's a lower view of the elephant habitat that I showed you from above the bridge. Now the elephants are there to the left. All right, we got the giant panda habitat. Meet our bears. The panda bears are towards the back now. Pretty beautiful animals. Yeah, so the bears are in the back of the habitat getting some food from the, one of the handlers. Planning for pandas. So this is a secondary habitat for the pandas. You have to follow strict guidelines set by China. Got some fish. Northern snakehead, invasive species. You can see them here in the water. The whole area has these cool rock walls and bamboo all over the place, and plenty of areas to see the animals. All right, so from giant pandas to red pandas. These guys have a gorgeous habitat also. See what that gentleman is up there is the first path I was on. He's inside right now. Trying to block off some of the some of the reflection. A giant panda habitat. Several different animals. And what is a panda? And different bears at the zoo. So this is the evening habitats for the giant pandas. The giant pandas are bears. Different bear variations and their sizes. Timeline. First pandas in America. 1970s panda diplomacy. 1980s learning about breeding. And then the 90s. We share our knowledge. On the right, it was their historic range. And on the left is their current range. Four healthy cubs. You can see all the bamboo along the path. All right. They are out now. Very nice looking bison. All right, so showing you the map again, you see right where I'm at, where's the front or top portion of the zoo. So I'm going to work my way through everything in this area and then work my way down to the green and then the purple section. Right next to the panda shop, they have a Sabaro pizza. This is their menu board. All right, you got Southern Boot Heel Catering. It's a food truck. This is third menu. Just a cute little chipmunk. 
don't have chipmunks in Florida. So I always enjoy seeing them when I'm up north in areas. These guys don't sing though. I think 125 years. All right, Elephant Trails, Pachyderm Plaza. All right, going inside this building. All right, so inside you got two more of the Asian elephants. It's like, what is an Asian elephant? See, even when the elephants are indoors, they do have lots of space. It's the additional elephant habitat. All right, around the clock. Lights out after hours. The elephants still lay down to sleep. I say, show you the map again so you know right where I'm at. Look for the red symbol there right by lot B entrance. So as I said, I'm going to go down into the green area. And then I'll go to the purple area. And back up towards the orange. Got bats. Here is a bat house. So if you see bats in your neighborhood, that is a good thing because you eat insects. Yes. <laughs> Some Przewalski's horse. And I'm sure I mangled their name. These are wild horses. Now we're gonna go check out a small animal house. Alright, that's this right here. We got Northern Tree Shrew. Lots of stuff to climb on. There we go. There we go. Let's have food inside, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he ran inside to get some food. It's back. Very cute. Got a pale headed sacky. And La Planta three banded armadillo. Just looking down below. There is the armadillo. I see running around. Armadillo. Yeah. Saki is right here in the tree. There we go. Gotta bend down a little bit. Long fluffy tail. Armadillos are cute too. By the way, they run on their little tiptoes. And we got a screaming. Harry Armadillo. We've got lots of stuff to climb on. There we go. A little bit different. Still cute. Next up we got Fennec Fox. This is the Fennec Fox's habitat. I do not see him, so if he's in here, he's somewhere up high, probably sleeping. Alright, so on the other side, I see him. Up there, sleeping. Got a nice little crevice there. Exactly what I just explained. Got a prehensile tailed porcupine. There's two of them in here. You got one here. Then you see the back portion of the other one. Got lots of stuff to climb on. Got a golden headed lion tamarin. I do love seeing the tamarins. See the holes in the back. So they are probably back there right now because I do not see them in the habitat right now. And following the path, there is a 
third parental tailed porcupine. You can see his tail. Got a southern tamandu. The southern tamandu's habitat. Do not see it out, so it is probably somewhere sleeping. Oh, well, there you go. Another guest told me where to look. It is blocked from the vantage point I was at. That is really cool looking. Got a brush tailed bed on. This is its habitat. There he is. Just hops around like a kangaroo. Got a sand cat. Sand cat's habitat. Two different sides, just the one side. The other side. And I see him. Or at least I see his head. Just like a typical cat, they like to be up high. So you see his ears. Got naked mole rats. Are they in there? Alright, when we get back to the Whoa. Yeah, you get close. Cool, Maggie. See him right there. Oh, you can see him over here. Yeah. One's digging. Sleep in there. The oh, just popped out. For mine. Another one. All the different tunnels connect yeah. to the different areas. Cool. You see a lot of mouses. I see all of them. Let me show you behind the scenes how all the tubes are connected. Go back into the boxes. It's a very cramped tunnel they're trying to get through, being blocked. Get out of my way! That's where the food is. Now we got red buff lemur. There's a lot of people in here, so it's gonna get a little bit loud. Let's see more of them. That's this one. Got a two-toed sloth. This guy's got lots of space to roam around. However, I see him right up here in the in the pet carrier. They also like to be up high. And we got a green aricari. You see a green aricari. <laughs> Golden Lion Tamarin. So even in this habitat, I do not see any of the Golden Lion Tamarins. They are very small. So they are probably all bunched up together somewhere. So there's your view of the Arakari. That's a cool looking bird. Got a chinchilla. Yo. Real cute and fuzzy. He's got lots of rocks to climb on. Got a prevote squirrel. Also got lots of stuff to climb on. I do not see him, so he's more than likely going to be in the back. Got a Joffrey's marmoset. Alright, so I also do not see it out right now. Probably in the back again. Their choice, do they want to be out or not? Black footed ferret. So I looked. I don't see him, so if he's in here, he's maybe somewhere maybe in the back. We can't see him. We've got dwarf mongoose. So trying to find him. Lots of different places, little crevices where this guy could be. So I don't currently see them. Got more na naked mole rats here. There we got Degu. Wait, boy, lots of them in here. Oh, 
Sake, go scratch, go scratch. Yeah, pale-headed Sake. Lots of space for them. And I see one of them. Way up high. Sleeping. I see some slender-tailed meerkat. And Von Der Decken's hornbill. There is the hornbill. Come here's the mirror cat. Really good view of the bird. I got Brazilian Ogoti. Just running around. Right in the back. Here we go. Brazilian <laughs> Agoti. He's quick. Quick. Got a southern Tamandu. These guys got lots of stuff to climb on. Nice waterfall. But I was looking for them and they are right up here. Alright, Fremont's a squirrel. Just really, really right there. Very nice. There's a second one. Got a striped skunk. Skunkies. Skunks. Here's the other one. They are cute. Definitely wouldn't want to cross paths with them. We got a Northern Luzon Giant Cloud Rat. Got two of them in here. One's kind of sticking its head out. Other one up in the box a little bit more. Very nice. They are fuzzy. So showing you the mini map for the lower zoo where we currently are. All right, next up, gonna go inside the Great Ape House. All right, Great Apes, Great Science. Got Western Lowland Gorilla. It's just one of their indoor areas. One of the zookeeper staff in here getting this area ready for them. And we got Orangutan. Part of their indoor habitat. Additional. Now just because they're not in here doesn't mean they're not available. They are probably outside. Actually there is a orangutan right here. So all the animals have access to go inside or outside. It's their choice. There's the outdoor area of the orangutan. The Western Lowland Gorillas are outside. That's why I figured they would be. This is around the back of the building. Just follow the path on either side. Looks like they are opening up the indoor habitat, so that's where they're all going. And they all just went through this door, and then the door was shut as they went in. Here we got some Adalba tortoise. Right here on the side. That's a big tortoise. Alright, so the orangutans are outside now. There's the youngster with them. Alright, so I'm going to get in line to go see the reptile house before I continue. I can hear the gibbons. Quite a few of my subscribers are going to love this next area. we got Komodo Dragon. There's Komodo Dragon's habitat, but I don't see Komodo Dragon. We're going to see Ridgetail Monitor and Northern Blue Tongue Skink. I do see the Ridgetail Monitor. The 
Blue Tongue Skink is probably hiding. We got Iranian Leopard Gecko. The Iranian Leopard Gecko is hiding somewhere. Because I do not see him. Got a Gila Monster. This guy's got a really nice habitat. Looking for him. They're normal. Got African plated lizard. This guy's really cool looking. Really easy to see also. Also got a very nice looking habitat. Got an emerald tree monitor. So I'm trying to see this one and again I don't see them. Looking all the way up also. The Holmes Hingeback Tortoise. There's only so many places a tortoise can hide. So I don't think he's actually in this habitat right now. Doesn't it appear that some of the animals are here. Got a prehensile tailed skinny. Very nice looking habitat. He's actually inside right here. Charlie, this one's venomous. Tree right there. The glass is kind of dirty, so if I try to zoom in, it just picks up all the dirt. Got a mangrove snake. Very nice habitat for this snake. Okay, right up here. The Central American Bushmaster. Also very nice habitat. This guy's in the back. There we go. We are a little bit. A yeah, small woods anole. So this guy is also hiding. No, actually, I take that back. He blended in so well. I just happened to see he just moved his head. I missed him. I was looking for a few minutes. It's actually one of my favorite types of snakes, the boom viper. I like because of their dual markings. Looks like it's two different snakes. Here we got a Timor python. They're also up on the tree. Got a northern pine snake. Nice looking habitat, but this guy's right up by the glass. <laughs> Got a false water cobra. There you go, in the water. Nothing false about that. Got snaky tongue. We got Madagascar gecko. Got Madagascar gay gecko and and like leaf tailed gecko. Now both of these guys are hiding really, really well. I don't see either one of them. So they're more than likely behind there where I can't get a good view of them. The Chinese crocodile lizard. This guy is in the water. And again, it's hard to zoom in because of the dirty glass. But he is right there. Got Taylor's is cantle. And this neck is all the way in the back. So just a little bit of them. The emerald alligator lizard. This thing's also hiding really well. They blend in so well with their surroundings. Yellow-headed day gecko. These guys are most likely inside one of their bamboo poles. Got some painted terrapin. And then with them you got some uh, Thomas Doma. There is a Thomas Doma. There's one of the painted terrapins. Got a Cuban crocodile. Here we go. Cuban crocodile. Got 
got a timber rattlesnake. And a shingleback skink. So he's all the way in the back. You barely see his head. Got a rhinoceros snake. Some nice young lady told me about where to find him. Part of him anyway. That's all they'll show you of him. The rest of him is hidden. All right, vanishing fast. Three banded box turtle, Indo Chinese box turtle, and McCord's box turtle. Got this one here, and the other guys. And the third box turtle is somewhere I just don't see him. Got a Cayman lizard. Got one of them here. Looks like he is shedding also. And the second larger one. Here we got Fiji Island Iguana. It's right here. Some of these guys blend in so well. Got a Toke Gecko. It's right there. Got a European Glass Lizard. Right here at the bottom. Oh, it's an indigo snake. Here, I want to show you this venomous snake. Eastern indigo snake. Oh, the snake is right here. That's pretty cute. Cool. Right underneath. Got turtles in trouble. <laughs> Got yellow spotted Amazon river turtle. Again, stupid human beings driving another species to extinction from ignorance. The Grand Cayman Iguana. I thought this one was big. Giant on a rock, even larger. Got eyelash pump, pit viper. Look this lovely yellow coloration. Got a northern copperhead. Got a black headed python. It's a good size snake. Climb down, please. This is not for climbing. You can see his black head. Looks like he got dipped into ink or something. There's the rest of them. Got King Cobra. Whole lot of snakey right there. Next in, lance headed rattlesnake. This guy's in the back. Western hognose snake. It's like some of the lizards. These guys blend in so well. This happens being a spot where I don't even see them. Got rhinoceros viper. Same situation with this guy. It's going to be somewhere where I just don't notice them. And a spotted turtle. And I don't know if I'm going blind or what because I don't see him either. You get long tailed a salamander. Boy, this guy could be anywhere in this habitat. I am not having very good. Salamander. So I was looking in the water, and here he is on the left. Now, when it said giant, I didn't think it meant that giant. As this guy is huge. An alligator snapping turtle. Those are scary looking turtles. Australian big headed turtle and an Australian snake neck turtle. Oh, 
snake neck turtle because they have really long necks. It makes them look like they got snakes sticking out. We got a tentacle snake. All I saw at first was these little orange fish. With a tentacled snake. That's him in the back. Oh, that was a branch. Here we got spider tortoise. We also have a dauber tortoise. They're small turtles, or tortoises. This is larger of dauber tortoise. Next up, we're gonna go and do the Gibbon Ridge. All right, got some Samang. Got lots of room. So just like human beings, these animals are susceptible to the virus that is going around. So do you have some precautionary measures in place so you can't get too close to them? Got dragonfly. So frog pond for all seasons. I'm sure there's some ribbits in here right now. All right, next up, going into Think Tank. Basically a lot of information on the walls about the different animals. It's more of an educational facility. Like a chimpanzee toolkit. And gone fishing. We got Alan's swamp monkey. This guy's got a really nice habitat. This is the first time we've ever used the dog. Look Very nice. All right, you got the conservation carousel. This is an additional charge, three fifty per person. So instead of just horses, you got different animals. Look at see some lemurs. You got ring-tailed lemur and a black and white ruffed lemur. The lemur's got all sorts of stuff to climb on, a bunch of rocks. Do you see the black and white rough lemur? Lots of turtles. So I don't see the ringtail lemurs at the moment. So I will check back a little bit later. I'm gonna go check out the American Trail, Treasures of North America. I see some gray seal and harbor seal. And a California sea lion. Also got brown pelican. The seals are here in the water somewhere. I see one of them here in the water. I see one of them swimming in the water. California sea lion are a little more active, so you can see them better. Got some pelicans also. Get an underwater view of them. More. <laughs> 
Zooming by. We got an Andean bear. It's Andean bear habitat. What I happen to see the bear right in the back here. Wait, we can see the bear right here. There we go. There is the bear, Andean bear. Somehow we ended up in the lower zoo, or the valley rather, because you see where I'm at. And I must have taken the path from here. So what I'm going to end up doing is continuing along here, seeing everything, and then I'll catch up the stuff that I missed. Go back up and then get here and then come back a little bit more back and forth than I was originally planning got Amazonia all right so Amazonia building is closed all right so showing you map again so you see where I'm at Amazonia building is unfortunately not open so I am heading this way to where the kids farm is and I'll wrap my way around and head back up this way. All right, gonna go check out the kids' farm. Got some of the goats in the yard here. Or actually, one goat. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I was right now, goats. So you dig it? Yeah. You definitely have chickens on the farm. Got nice fresh eggs. And dare I say, fried chicken? <gasps> Don't want to do that. And caring for goats. And caring for donkeys. These are their donkeys they got. Miniature Mediterranean donkey. You got Pat, Giuseppe, and Flash. How you doing? I guess this guy must be Flash. Other two are in the barn. And caring for cows. Got a nice moo cow right there. Funny, I got a dog named Cow. Cause he's got cow-like markings just like this cow does. So you got a cow. A rose, which is a pulled Hereford cow. And you got Orion, who's an alpaca. All right, so the contact yards are still currently closed. So you can see the animals from afar, but you just can't interact with them yet. Gotta come around the path to show you these guys. And the alpaca. Chewing up all the grass. A little bad for the cow though. Everybody else has names except this is just called cow. Well, then again, my dog is just named cow, so maybe that's the cow's name. Got a nice little pond here. There are restroom locations. You can be the bee. That is a big bee. And of course, you got lots of climbing stuff for the little ones. Alright, so showing you where I'm at. This is the mini map. I'm right on the lower left hand corner of the main map here. Alright, we got main grill. Alright, showing you the menu board. For another sign. The zoo does have a health unit and a police unit. Got a black tailed prairie dog. I think it's down this way. There's one of them. They're just like meerkats, you can have a look out. But they got all the holes. This one's sticking his head out. That's the statue of the fairy dog going in as well. Alright, so I'm right back to where I was before I took the North American Trail. Alright, so this is another side view of the black and white rough lemur. Still do not see the ringtail lemur. 
Yeah, gonna see a Mara. See the Mara. Got lots of space, water to play in, and a nice fan to be in front of. Or another sign. Got lions and tigers. All right, great cats. All right, so this area we're gonna see some lion and some tigers. Go. All right, see one of the male lions. This is what I missed the first time. The big cat loop. Alright. The lionesses. She's just getting a drink of water. We got two more in here. All right, so I'm showing you the map again. So you can see right where I'm at. I just completed this, which I missed the first time because I, again, went down the wrong path. So I already saw all this along this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back over here, go back down where I was, where the seals and sea lions were. So I'm gonna go to the right because I missed, missed this, which will take me back around through here, and then I can go back up here and see the stuff I might have missed. Now if you're doing the North American Trail, you need to come to uh, several habitats on the right-hand side that are currently not being used for animals. Perhaps sometime in the future it'll be something. Got bald eagle. Got very, very nice. See some animals are temporarily off exhibit. So they're doing some renovation work over here where you normally be able to get closer to the bald eagles. There we got American beaver. You can see the beavers. There's beavers, there's a beaver. Oh my gosh, look at that beaver! You see his big flat tail? He uses that so he can build dams. He sticks. He's in mud. See some ducks in there with them. Yep. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the beaver's going back down. So I'm going up. Coming back down again. Oh, that other one in the... There we go. Got a bolt down there. Got North American River otter. Um, like they might bite me. They're a little aggressive. Where do I get one for a pet? They're like sea otters. Yeah. So you know, like small families, but they do eat like fish and everything. So they yeah. are hunters. They have the densest, well, not these, they but ocean otters have the thickest fur of any animal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can keep them on the Spin around. Yeah. I just love these nice streams here.
The butterflies. You see how they stream is all the way up there. There's a view from the top. All right, got elephant trails. All right, so showing the map again. So you can see where I'm at. Right up here. Get another view of the elephants. Now I think I came down this path, but I went all the way back rather than going that way. So I'm gonna head head this way because I think I missed the wallabies. We already saw the small animals, which are here. Small mammal house. So I'm gonna go back around this way. Because I think I might have missed this up here. Not 100% sure yet. People can donate to the conservation programs. You can see Asian elephants. This is another area of their habitat. So it might not look at when you first see the area, but it spreads out. That's so there are restroom locations right here. This is cute. Showing the map of the upper zoo where I'm at again. I missed a portion of the cheetah conservation station. So I'm going to go back and finish that. And possibly re-enter Asian Trail to see if I can see the animals that I missed. Alright, so since I am doing the cheetah conservation area the main wolf habitat is part of that so I came back here and I still do not see the main wolf so either he's not out at all or just somewhere sleeping but lesser kudu are still out but I still do not see the Abyssinian ground hornbill as anatomy of a zebra. The three different types of zebras have distinct patterns. Kind of towards the back now. Alright, so this is the area that I missed. Alright, cheetah. Right, anatomy of a cheetah. So I see two cheetahs. One here. And here's the other one. Stripes under stress? Not really. It's a yummy in the tummy. And speed isn't everything. Brighter future. Additional habitat for the cheetahs. Got red river hog. All right, so I don't see the red river hog. But it doesn't mean they're not in here. They could be right in the back, behind all this stuff. Repels griffin vulture. One just got up. Really nice. These are a lot nicer to look at than the typical turkey vulture. All right, so I am back at my entry point where I first came in the zoo. So I didn't go exactly the path that I originally had planned, but since I'd never been here before, it's easy to take a wrong path and end up in an area that you weren't originally planning. So keep an eye on the map as you go along if you've never been here before like me. So that way you're not backtracking. So there was only a few animals that I did miss, including the main wolf that's right here at the beginning. I've been by here multiple times. I don't think it's even in the habitat or if it is, it is sleeping somewhere behind the scenes where you just can't see it. So I am gonna try to get back into the Asian trail to see some of the stuff I missed the first time. I can't make any promises, but 
then I will do a quick rewalk. There's only a couple that I didn't see going through other than the Asian Trail. Another placard here, information, Homestead Walk, which is the main walk path. All right, gonna go inside the Smithsonian National Zoological Park Visitor Center. All right, so the Asia Trail shop is currently closed. There is restroom locations right inside. And the theater is currently unavailable. All right, so I missed the sign this morning. We got a new sloth bear. So both sloth bears are behind the scenes, off habitat, getting to know each other. So that would explain why I did not see the sloth bear. Apparently off habitat. All right, so I am back in the Asian Trail. Gonna rewalk and see if I see the few things that I didn't get to see the first time. Got this, not quite cubs anymore. <laughs> Got the clutter leopard cat walking back and forth. Not sure if it's the male or the female. That's the same one that I saw this morning or not. Alright, so I came back to the fishing cat habitat. Still no luck. But this is what they look like. Alright, back into Asian small clod otters. Morning down into the water. They are really cute. First back at the giant pandas. Very, very nice. So currently this is one of three zoos in the United States that have giant pandas. And the other two are Zoo Atlanta and the Memphis Zoo, both of which I have been to. And I mentioned earlier that giant pandas were once at San Diego Zoo, but they are no longer there. The giant panda squad. Get the red panda statue. All right, so this morning the red panda were not out. They were inside their little indoor habitat. So I was hoping to see them outside. You can see their little doors are open. So usually red pandas are way up in the trees. Well, I don't even see them there. So if they are here, they are hiding very really, really well. Information on where they get their bamboo at for the panda bears. The pandas are omnivores. Here we go, got them inside. Plenty of bamboo in there for it. There's gonna be treats inside. <laughs> Got the youngster over here. See, baby. I think she like has like almost a one year old. I told you this baby. Yeah, not sure. But like someone's after her baby. Mm -hmm. but they were, I like, say, I think it's a baby panda. So she got all over snacks out. She came all over the ground. There's the baby. Where's the youngster? Not really a baby anymore. Is the third panda trying to get the treats out of the ball? All right, so it's just after 2 p.m. Zoo does close at three. It's the reason why the pandas are brought inside their evening enclosure. They start bringing in animals around two o'clock. 
I'm showing the map again because I was trying to find the Bennett's Wallaby because I didn't see them this morning. It's supposed to be right here. But instead of the Bennett's Wallaby, they have the wild horses in there. So if you've been to the zoo, you might have noticed these towers and the wires. They're all throughout this area. That is so the orangutans can move to the different areas. See right here, the O-line. More information on the O-line. All right, because the zoo is closing in less than an hour, the lines are way too long to get back inside the reptile house to try and see some of the uh, snakes and lizards I may have missed the first time. So I'm going to wrap up my visit here to the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C. I had a fantastic time. Very, very tired. I had a long walk at the North Carolina Zoo yesterday. So I don't normally do two zoos back to back just because of all the extra walking. So there were a few animals that I didn't get to see. Either they were not in the habitat at all or they were just somewhere where I couldn't see them. Hope you understand that not all the animals will be out every single time I'm at a zoo, even though I do come back multiple times to try and show them to you. Leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was here that I saw today. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I go to different zoos, aquariums, theme parks, roadside attractions all over the United States, hopefully eventually around the world. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.